All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to my verbaling class. This is my last class for the night. Uh, we are going to be uh, uh, discussing vocabulary that has to do with uh, uh, with school. Okay, um, Anna, I am American. So if you are looking for British corrections, I'm probably not the best person to go to. Uh, I do uh, American English corrections. Okay, um, so this is uh, this is a class uh, designed for beginners. So uh, we're using basic verb conjugations, uh, basic vocabulary, okay? And we'll be looking at pictures and, and uh, using uh, the words that we know to describe those pictures and uh, to talk about things in, in school, all right? If you do not have the, the link, okay, let me uh, give that to you right now. And this is gonna be right here. Okay, so let me uh, let me give you the link, so you can start uh, start to take a look at this. All right, as well as uh, I'm, I so I put it in the uh, the Verbling chat. I'm going to put it in the Google chat as well, so you have it in both places. Okay, uh, and yes, uh, Bruno, you're correct. Uh, American is similar to British, only the accent is different. Um, and not not only that, but there are some words that we use that they do not use, and vice versa. Uh, also, the other uh, um, the other difference uh, would be um, uh, the pronunciation of some words. Okay, a lot of times we uh, we use a, a a D sound instead of the T sound, and they and they use that T sound. Okay, uh, we use the E R. Okay, that er sound a lot more than they do. They use they uh, tend to use an uh like better. Okay, things like that. So there are there are some other differences. So um, anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. We've got let's see, Amar, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. How's life been treating you? What? How how has life been treating you? How has life been for you? Good. I have an exam about uh, one and a half hour English exam. <laughs> Uh, you have one, or you already had one? No, no, I have one after one and a half hour. Okay, so in about an hour and a half, you have another one. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it, what is the topic? I uh, it's it's very easy. It's uh, uh, we study uh, direct English level level one. Okay. So level level one, okay. Yeah. All right, very cool, very cool. All right, well, welcome welcome back to class. It's good to see you here again. Uh, let's go to Alejandro. How are you, Alejandro? Hi. Good night. Hi. How are how is everything where you are at? What? How is everything where you are at, Alejandro? Uh, fine, fine. Great. Now now, where where are you from, Alejandro? I'm from Argentina. Cool. Uh, what part of Argentina are you from? Uh, I am from uh, Entre Rios. Entre Rios. Excellent. I, th I, th I think that you uh, uh, you live in Santa Fe. Uh, no, I lived in Buenos Aires, but uh, I did live to uh, live close to Entre Rios. Uh, uh, there, in a place called Sarate. Ah, Sarate. Yes, I know that place. Yeah, so I lived there for for a little bit, and uh, I met uh, a lot of people from Entre Rios. And uh, um, uh, the truth is, is that people from Entre Rios speak extremely fast. And uh, when I got there, when I got to Sarate, um, I had been uh, just talking with with a lot of people in uh, in the capital. Okay, so when I got got there to Entre Rios, and I heard heard people from in, uh, or sorry, got to Sarate and heard people from Entre Rios speak, I was like, "Holy cow! You guys speak really fast!" <laughs> and yeah, it was uh, it was amazing. Also, I mean, no, it, you, what's that? you 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 also speak very fast. <laughs> yes, I do. I do speak very fast. Uh, anyway, very very cool, man. Uh, welcome uh, welcome to class. 
And uh, Alejandro, what what do you do? Uh, are you a student or are you uh, uh, are you working full time? Uh, I am a student and I am a, I'm working in a supermarket uh, as a cashier. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to class. And uh, Ugo, I do apologize. I needed to uh, mute your microphone. Uh, there was a lot of noise coming from uh, from uh, your desk. It sounded like you were moving things around. So I did need to mute your microphone. I do apologize. All right. Very cool. Well, welcome to class, Alejandro. Good to have you here. Uh, let's go to uh, Anastasia. How are you? Good morning. No, good morning. I'm not Anastasia. I'm her mom. I want to. Oh, date you're her to mom. Yes, I want also to learn English, but I little forget. I, I want to start, and she helped me about this. Okay, very cool, very cool. Yeah, well, this will be uh, this will be a good class. We're doing uh, uh, very basic uh, verbs and uh, and naming of uh, of classes in school. Okay, so this will be good for you. Now, uh, what uh, what is your name? Uh, my name Oksana. Oksana. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oksana, very good, very good. Yes, and uh, and your daughter, uh, your daughter really enjoys coming to my classes, uh, and I and I enjoy having her here. She uh, she helps out a lot. Very good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. well, welcome, welcome to class. Okay, uh, Ugo, Ugo, you got to keep your microphone muted. It sounds like you've got you're moving papers along your microphone. It uh, it's very loud. Uh, let's go to uh, and now. Is this Dora? Is that how we how we you you would pronounce your name, Dora? Okay, so Ugo, Ugo, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, Ugo, Ugo, lo que pasa? Ugo, where are you from? I'm from Argentina, but from I live Argentina. in Italy. Yes. Okay, um, right right now, what's what's happening? There's a lot of noise with your with your microphone. Okay, and so that's that's why people keep muting you. All right. So ha have your have your your microphone on silent until it's your turn because there's a lot of noise that that's come come in there. All right, and until uh, until you uh, until we're talking, okay. All right. Thank you, Hugo. Let's go to Dora. Dora, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, yes I'm here. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How about you? I'm doing good. Now, Dora, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. From Colombia, excellent. And uh, what yeah. part of Colombia do you live in? I live in Cali. In Cali, okay, yeah. very good. And uh, and what do you do? Are you uh, a student or do you work full time? No, I, I'm a student. All right. And what do you study? I study computers engineering. Okay, so computer engineering. All right, very nice. Well, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go to uh, now. Is this Heba uh, uh, or Hiba? Heba Hassan. Heba Heba. Heba or is it Hiba? Heba. Heba. Okay. Hi, Heba. How are you? I'm fine. Good. And uh, Heba, where are you from? I'm from Egypt. From Egypt. Awesome. And uh, and what do you do? Are you a student or do you work full time? I'm graduated from Faculty of Artists and now I'm studying fashion design. Okay, very nice. Very nice. And what uh, what type of things would you like to design in fashion? Do you like uh, designing pants or dresses or shirts? Dresses. What do you Dresses. Dresses. Very beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, it's good to have you here, uh, and it's Heba, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Welcome to class. Let's go to uh, Ugo. Ugo, you said that you're from Argentina, but you're living in uh, Italy right now. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And and why did you move from Argentina to Italy? Did you find a job there in Italy? Um, yes, excuse me, teacher, but my English is very, very poor. Okay, that's that's fine. Now, um, let's see. 
Uh, what uh, what part of Italy do you live in? I live in Rome. Rome, okay. And why do you live in Italy? Uh, because um, here I I have a, a, a job. There, okay, you have a job. Excellent. And what is your job? I'm taxi driver. Great. Okay, good. And uh, did you drive taxi in in Argentina as well? Or um, did you drive remis? Um, no, no, taxi. No, remis. Taxi? Okay, yeah. excellent. All right. Well, welcome to class, Hugo. It's good to okay. have you here. Thank you. All right, and let's see, uh, Jesus. How are you, Jesus? Hi, I'm fine. What are you? Awesome. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. And Jesus, um, let's see. I recognize your name. Um, maybe, maybe the picture as well. But let's see. Let's see. Where are you from, Jesus? Yes, teacher. I uh, I was the la la the late the junior class. But I was only the fifteenth less later minute. Okay, so you were in the class at the very end, right? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm from Peru. All right. Okay, so you are from Peru, and uh, in what part of Peru do you live in? Lima. In it's Lima. Hello. Excellent. Well, I have to tell you. Um, some of my favorite food comes from Peru. I love Peruvian ceviche. Yes, it's it, it really like it's my life, my favorite food. It it is my my favorite as well as papa a la huancaina. I love it. Yes, I my, always. My mother always prefer papa a la huancaina. I love it. I love the sauce that uh, that uh, you prepare. It's very delicious. Yeah. Um, Excellent. How do, how do you eat Peruvian food? Um, so? When when I lived in uh, in Argentina, I met uh, some Peruvian families, and uh, the the mother uh, really enjoyed uh, making food, and I really enjoy eating. And so uh, she invited me to the house one day, and uh, she said, "I'm going to make you ceviche." And I was, I said, "I don't know what ceviche is," and she said, "You will love it." And I absolutely loved it. And so once a week, uh, I would go over to their house, and, and I would eat uh, Peruvian food, and I loved it. It was really good. Yes, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome, welcome to class, Jesus. It's good to good to meet you. Yeah, uh, let's go to Dar awesome, Tarcisio. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Great. How's that? How did you enjoy our last class? Did you have fun? I have a lot of fun. Good, <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, and you are you are as well. You're doing very well with English, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Great. So, what's uh, what's your plans for tomorrow? Tomorrow, to wake up and to come to verbally. <laughs> <laughs> wake up and come to verbally. Same thing. <laughs> nice job, man. Well, that's good. I uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I think I teach for about nine hours. After class tonight, I, ha I need to prepare my lessons for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully you're you're able to make it to uh, to some of my classes tomorrow. That'd be great. You could prepare a cover for us. A cover? Hey, yeah. Like like what? What do you mean? Like you could sing something for us. <laughs> I could sing something. I could prepare a <laughs> prepare a song. Yeah. Uh, people, people, uh, people keep asking for it. Maybe, maybe one of these days I'll have to, uh, I'll have to do that. And we'll do, a, we'll do a singing lesson. Um, uh, Matthew, I know, does singing lessons, but I don't want to steal his fire. He does really well. He does really well. So anyway, welcome back to class, Dr. Cecilia. It's good to see you. It's my pleasure. And let's see. We also have Dewey. How are you? 
I'm fine. And you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. Uh, how how are how is things going, Dewey? Everything um, good? Yes, it good. I'm um, I'm making um, food and um, uh, I keep up it and uh, come to your class. Okay, and what uh, what food are you making? What do you like to uh, eat? It's uh, rice and egg. Ooh, it's, uh, very good. It's meat. Pork. Yeah, uh, tonight, uh, right before my classes, I had some rice and eggs as well, uh, with uh, uh, with a little bit of vegetable. It was really good. I liked it. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, you guys. Well, this is this is going to be a uh, a beginner class. Okay, we're going to be working on uh, simple uh, simple verbs as well as um, as vocabulary regarding school. All right. Now, uh, as we go through these, we'll have pictures and uh, and we'll talk about things. If you do have any questions, please let me know, and uh, and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Okay. If uh, if you don't have the link, I'm going to place this in the Verbling chat one more time. Okay. As well as in the Google chat. Okay, so class, all you would need to do is click on that link and it will open for you. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and go to my screen share. Once you click on it, this is what you will see. Okay, you'll see ESL library, today's vocabulary, okay? And then uh, you'll also see a lot of pictures. Okay, and we're gonna work a lot with pictures today, uh, mainly uh, uh, you, learning new verbs and uh, and vocabulary words okay so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and start off with uh, with Alejandro uh, in this exercise uh, we are going to be uh, filling in you see down below where it says he is raising his hand now if you scroll down to the bottom of this page you will see that we have all of the different answers down below so uh, here for column one these uh, these here are, would be our answers that we could choose from. Okay, okay. here in column two, we have these answers that we can choose from. All right. So if you get lost and you and you uh, uh, don't know exactly what they're doing, look down below, and that may be able to help you. All right. So let's go to um, uh, question two. Okay. Now, Alejandro, what is he doing? What do you think is happening in this picture? Uh, uh, he's doing an experiment. Yeah, so he's uh, he's doing an experiment. Let's uh, let's make sure that we're using the correct verb here. Okay, so yes, he is doing an experiment. Excellent job. Okay, let's go to uh, number three, and this is for. All right, this is for Amar. Oh, Amar, uh, I do apologize. Uh, Amar, let me have you do number three, please. Uh, what is she doing? Uh, open a, open a book. Open a, a book. Okay. O and opening let's, a book. Yeah, opening. Good. Mm -hmm. Opening a book. She is opening a book. Please repeat that. She is opening a book. She is opening a book. Excellent. Nice job. Okay, let's go to our next one. So this is number four, and this will be for. Um, and you said your name is uh, Ang, Ang Oksana, Oksana. Oksana. Okay, Oksana. Mm -hmm. All right. So Oksana, let me have you read number four. What is the student doing? I think he's taking a book out. Good, oh. good. So if we go down here, and we say. Taking a book out. Taking All right. Book out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he is taking a book out. He's taking a. Can book I say pulling out. the book? Uh, yes, you can say pulling out a book. Pulling out. Or you can pulling also out. say he is getting a book. Getting. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, he is getting a book, and that would probably be uh, uh, the most popular way to say it. What is he doing? He's getting a book. I have a question. Sure. What's your question? Take out is similar to sacar in español. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. 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 Very good. Uh, very good, Oksana. Let's go to number five, and this is for Diego. How you doing, Diego? Pura vida. Doing well. Doing well. <laughs> A little bit awesome. tired, but I'm <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's do number five, Diego. This one right here. All right. What is Alicia doing, Diego? She is writing a note. All right. Let's uh, let's check our answers down here. Okay, she is writing. Okay, so you can say she is writing in a book, okay, or she's writing on uh, on paper, something like that. But yeah, she is writing. Okay, good. Let's okay. go to number uh, number six, and this is for uh, Heba. Yeah. Let me have you do number uh, six, please. They are um, studying. All right. So let's uh, let's check this out. So six, and okay, um, yeah, they're 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 studying. But one way that we can say that, especially when there are what, let's see, one, two, three, four, we can say that they are working in groups. Let me have you repeat that, Heba. They are studying. Okay. Uh, what are the students doing? The students are working in groups. Okay, the students are working in a group. Okay, good. Working in a group would be fine as well. Nice. All right, let's go to number seven, and this is for Hugo. Uh, yes, number seven is she's sitting down. Excellent. Nice job, Hugo. Okay, she is sitting down. Okay, you guys see that under column one? She is sitting down. All right, let's go to number eight. Uh, this is for Jesus. Okay, teacher. What is she doing? She is drawing. Uh, okay. She is drawing a picture. Good. She, she is. Picture. Yeah, she is drawing a picture. Now, Jesus, when we when we pronounce the word draw, okay, that uh, that aw only makes an aw sound. So we would not say draw pronouncing that w. We would only say draw. So she is draw. drawing drawing draw. a picture. Try that. She is drawing a picture. Good, drawing. much better. One more time. Drawing. 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 Good, really good. Nice job. Nice job, Jesus. Okay, let's go to uh, Tarsicio, number nine, please. Okay. He's trying to understand the subject. Good. Okay, so he is trying to understand the subject. Very good. You can tell because he looks a little worried, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so another thing that we could say here, in class, is that he is studying for a test, right? Because when we study, oh man, our brain hurts. Sometimes you need some coffee to stay awake. All right, good. Mm -hmm. So uh, one thing that uh, that uh, um, Tarcisio said was he is trying to understand the subject. Okay, that would work as well. Nice job. All right, let's go to number 10, and this is for Dewey. Okay, it's me. Yep, number 10, please. What is he doing? Um, he is uh, teaching. Okay, good. Yes, he is teaching. Good pronunciations. All right, let's go to uh, Amar. Let me have you do number 11, please. 
what is he do doing? He is uh, reading a book. Good. He is reading a book. Let's practice your R sound there. Okay. So instead of saying reading, okay, we want to use an er sound. We're going to say er reading. Reading. Try that. He is reading a book. There you go. That was great. Nice job. Okay, let's go to number 12, please. Oksana. Uh, what is the student doing? Uh, the student um, putting a book away. Good. Right? The student, yes, yes. The yeah. student is putting a book away. Okay, so we would need to say is. Okay, the student mm -hmm. is. Student putting is, a book away. Student is putting a book away. Good. Nice job, Oksana. Excellent. Okay, you guys. So we are we are going to scroll down now. All right. So we're going to pass uh, number uh, our page number two. So we're going to pass this page. Okay. Scroll down past uh, number three. So page number three. Okay, uh, we are going to pass page number four as well as page number five. We are going to go to page number six. So stop when you see these pictures here at the top. All right, now uh, we're going to do the same thing and we are going to describe these pictures. All right, and you can you can use other words to describe them. It doesn't you don't need to uh, choose exact ones, but I can help and guide you along. Okay. Uh, so Diego, uh, let's take a look at this first one here, number one. Okay. Um, now our helping phrase down here is "I am taking." All right. So if you were uh, looking at this picture, uh, what do you think you would be taking at, at this time, Diego? Well, I would say I'm taking my first class, maybe. Okay, yeah. I'm taking my first class. Good job. Thanks. Okay, so my first class. Good. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's go to Heba. Let me have you yeah. uh, uh, fill in number two. So um, down below it says, this is a blank teacher. All right, what kind of a teacher would this be? What do you think? Fre French. Ooh, good. A French. A French can teacher. Can I say a language mm -hmm. teacher? Um, you can say a language teacher, um, but it, it would be best to uh, to um, identify what kind of language uh, mm -hmm. they, they teach, okay? Because uh, okay. sometimes if a language teacher or a linguistics teacher um, may, may teach your own language. Okay, so it's a language teacher. They may teach, for for example, me. They may teach English. Okay, but okay. if it's a foreign language, you can say foreign language teacher, and that would work. Okay. Okay, so that word would be foreign, uh, like this foreign language teacher. teacher. Foreign language teacher. Okay. Now, um, Keba, I do want to practice the word. French, okay. So here on this word, you said fre French, okay. Rolling your R. So we want to practice a good R sound. We want to say fur French. Try that. French. Good. All right. Let's try that in the sentence. This is a French teacher. Try that. This is a French teacher. Awesome. Look at you. Good job with that R sound. All right, let's go to Ugo, number three, please. Okay, we do experiments in blank class. What would be our answer here, Ugo? We do experiments in in our class. Okay, uh, yes, in our class, but what kind of class, Ugo, would you uh, dissect a frog? Uh, we do experiments in... Um, in, 
Um, sorry, I don't know. Science? Okay. Science, uh, yes, yeah, science. Okay, yeah, we can say science in because our science class. Uh, you can also say biology, okay, because biology is when you uh, um, uh, are, uh, are, are taking a look at the body, okay, and, uh, and you know, how things uh, are, are created and things like that. Now, uh, Ugo, this word biology is very closely related to the Spanish word. Okay, what would be the Spanish word for biology, Hugo? Mm, yes, yes. Okay, um, so how would you say that word in Spanish, Hugo? Biology. Biología. There you go, exactly. So, there are times when words look very similar to words in your own language. Okay, and that helps you out, okay? Good, okay. nice job, Hugo. Uh, let's you. go to Jesús. Jesus, let's take a look at number four, please. My blank teacher is Mr. Jones. Teacher, can you please scroll down a little the screen? Sure, right there. Okay, can, you, can you see that, Jesus? Yes, yes. I, okay. Uh, my, uh, my medicine teacher is Mr. Jones. All right. Uh, so, what kind of teacher? Medicine. All right. So, what kind of teacher would uh, Mr. Jones be, class? Maybe maybe an anatomy teacher? Anatomy, yes, teacher. Anatomy, yes. Okay. My anatomy and teacher is Mr. Young. Good, good. Nice job, Jesus. Very good. Okay, yes. let's go to Mikael. Hi. Number five, please. So this is there they are in blank class. Now Mikael, what class would they be in? Uh, for example, they are in music class. Good. They are in music class. Okay. Yeah. And number six. Let's go to uh, Tarcicio. Number six, okay. please. We are in the same writing class. Okay. Now, yes, we can definitely say writing, but what else are they doing here? What does it look like they're doing with those machines, Tarcicio? Thinking of a typing. word that starts with yeah, a T word, typing. Typing. Okay. Okay. We are in the same typing type class. class now. We spell typing with a Y. Typing. 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 Okay. Yep. Good. Good. Let's go to uh, Thuy. Yeah. Uh, your, your question is number seven. All right. I love blank. Okay, I love chemistry. Good, let's practice that word, okay? The word is chemistry. Try that. Chemistry. All right, so we have an S there. We want to say chemis. Chemistry. One more time. Chemistry. Try that. Chemistry. Yeah, there you go. Nice job. Chemistry. Okay. All right, let's go to... Uh, Oksana, number eight, please. Mm, well, I try. This is my lovely textbook. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so this this could be a lovely textbook. Now, uh, this is my lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my lovely textbook. Adding in a wonderful adjective there. Lovely textbook. Um, now, here we also have someone that uh, may be sailing across the sea. So maybe this could be a history book or a history textbook as well. What do you think, class? Could this be a history textbook or maybe it could be maybe an adventure book, something like that? What do you what do you think, class? What else could this be? Uh, maybe adventure? History. Maybe history? Okay, history. maybe maybe history, okay? Yeah. All right. painting, and painting. Okay? It could be painting as well. 
because uh, it looks like they painted that over on the side. Okay, good. Good, Sorry. nice job. And, uh, and uh, Oksana, great, uh, good adjective saying that this is a lovely textbook. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, let's go to number nine. And this is for Diego. Yes, sir. All right. We learn to bake in cooking class. Good, yes. So that would be cooking. Cooking class. All right. In class, cooking is spelled C O O K I N G. Cooking. Excellent. All right. Let's go to uh, Keba. And let me have you do number 10, please. Uh, my favorite uh, class is art. Good, so art. Okay, or um, what else is, is she doing here, more specifically? What is she doing doing there, Keba? Coloring. Okay, um, a coloring would be with like uh, crayons or something. What she is doing is called painting. Painting, yeah. Okay, so yes, you can say my favorite class is art class, or you can also say my favorite class is painting. Painting. Okay, so my painting class. Good. Okay. All right, so either one is is just fine, Heba. You can say art, and that works perfectly fine as well, okay? Okay. Let's go to Ugo. Uh, number 11, please. Number 11, maybe is uh, I have math in room 2. All right. Let's, yeah, very good. Let's practice that TH sound. So that word is math. Try that. Math. Math. I have math in room 2. Excellent. Much better with your TH sounds, uh, Ugo. That sounded really good. Math. All right, cool. Let's go to Jesus, number 12, please. Yeah. I'm taking uh, acting classes this year. Good, yes. Yeah, so we can say acting classes. Okay, what else can we call this class? Okay. Um, what what else uh, class have you heard acting classes be described as something yes. else as well? Theater. Theater. Okay, theater would work. All right. Anything else? How about the word drama? Mm. I'm taking drama classes this year okay so all three of those would be just fine I'm taking acting classes I'm taking theater classes or I'm taking drama classes okay either of those would work just fine excellent sorry, job sorry teacher can I have a question uh, yes what's your question uh, which is the difference between acting and performance they are uh, they, similar? They are synonymous. Yes, they are very similar. Okay. Okay. Now, the the main difference is acting is when you are in a play, okay, or when you are uh, in a movie, okay. Performing can be acting. It can also be playing an instrument, okay. Um, it can be singing. All right. Uh, you can also uh, be a comedian and tell jokes. Okay, that would be uh, a, a performance. You can also do tricks like um, uh, like Cirque du Soleil. Okay, where they they perform. They're in the circus. All right, and they do tricks. It doesn't necessarily need to be uh, acting and and talking like this. Okay, so that would be the main difference. Acting is is specifically for actors that are in movies, TVs, or in the theater when they do plays. Okay, performing is everything that is done in front of people. Does that make sense, Jose or uh, Jesus? Yeah, yeah. Good. Awesome, man. Okay, let's go to um, uh, Mikael, and we are going to go to our next page. So, class, we need to scroll down. 
All right, and we are going to continue with these uh, with these pictures. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Tarcisio, stand up comedy that would be a performance as well. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. Let's go to uh, Mikael. Uh, number thirteen, please. Okay. Um, sorry. sorry. Uh, okay. There you go. I was uh, with the microphone. Uh, okay. All right. No worries. Just, just open now. Sorry. Uh, there are uh, notices uh, on the board. Okay. Good. Good. On the uh, on the board. You can also call that a what kind of board? What kind of board would that be? News board. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> a news board. News board. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Um, another way that uh, that you may hear this would be a bulletin, bulletin board. Bulletin board, yeah. Okay, yeah. so sometimes they may say a bulletin board. Now, uh, Tarcisio, a mural is going to be with pictures, and that is done on the wall as well. So it's, okay. a mural is uh, usually a piece of artwork uh, or something that's. Uh, fairly large and that's down on the side of a wall as well okay mm -hmm. okay um, let's go to um, Tarcisio number 14 please uh, word. I use a calculator in math class okay good now let's practice that you sound Tarcisio the word would be cal so we're going to add sort of an E sound right before that U. Calcu calculator in math class. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay, let's go to Dewey. Number okay. 15, please. Yes. I have a blue bag. Yes, so that would be a, that would be a bag. Um, what else would we call that? And then, so there's something specific to what we take to school with us. Yes. Backpack. Okay, very close. Very close. Um, uh, Am Amar had said pack. Pack. Now, pack. that's really close. We would call it a backpack. So we switch that around. Instead of it being a pack back, it is a back pack all right so let me I don't know why it's not working again so give me one second with my chat back pack there we go backpack okay so yeah yeah backpack go ahead and uh, repeat that please do we back 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 okay pack. It, would, it would be back there you go backpack um, now, rucksack, yeah, no, uh, Darcisio, rucksack would, would be more of a word that, yes, would be used for camping, but in all reality, rucksack is not used very much anymore. That is an older term. Mm-hmm. I got okay? it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it would, it would be used for, uh, for camping or for, uh, um, carrying things with you if you were traveling from city to city. That would be a um, rucksack. Uh huh. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's yes. go to uh, Amar. Number sixteen, please. Uh, my uh, my table is, is clean. Okay. Yeah. That would de that definitely looks like a table. Tab my study table is clean. Okay, study table. Now we have a specific word for this in English. Okay, and, and it starts with a D. Okay, does anybody know what we call uh, number sixteen? Okay, good. Yeah. So a uh, so uh, Amar, uh, a study table would be a desk. Like n normal desk. Yep, just like a desk. So I sit down at my desk at school. Okay? Okay. My desk right. is clean. 
There you go. My desk is clean. Okay, let's go to uh, uh, Oksana, number 17, please. Uh, the worksheets are in the... I, I don't know this name. I forget. Okay, can, can anyone help out uh, Oksana? No, drawer? A draw. Draw? Okay, so drawer. Draw. Drawer. Okay, yeah, so that's know. one way to say that would be drawer which is uh, spelled like that, so that's drawer, okay? Now, what is this big, uh, this big thing? So yes, this right here, this would be a drawer that goes in and out. Now, what's this big thing? What's that whole thing right there? Does anyone know what we call that? No. <laughs> okay, that no. is called a filing cabinet. Filing cabinet. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, a filing cabinet, and uh, all filing. these all these papers that you would put in here, those would be called files. Oh. Files like that. Okay, so the worksheets are in the filing cabinet. Try that. Uh, try that, Oksana. Uh, the worksheets are in the filing cabinet. Good file filing cabinet. Okay. File. Cabinet. File Excellent. cabinet. Good, good. Okay. And uh, uh, Ahmed, uh, drawer is spelled without the the Y there. It's spelled like that. Okay. All right. Let's go to number 18. And this is for Diego. Okay. I love my new razor. Rubber. Um. Uh, very close. Okay, this is going to be eraser. Oh, it's a eraser, an eraser. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. I love my new eraser. Try that. I love my new eraser. Good. Now, um, uh, Tarcisio, a uh, cabinet would not be like uh, a ballet. Okay, you may be thinking of. Cabaret. Okay, so cabaret. Let me. Uh, I think that's spelled like that. Uh, cabaret. Uh, I I could be off on the spelling. Um, it is something different. I can't uh, remember exactly uh, right now. Uh, but it could be like a uh, like a, maybe like a, a bar. Okay, or a, a, a nightclub. A cabaret. Okay, that's that's more of of a nightclub, and that's with that e t ending, and we would pronounce that like uh, uh, ballet. Okay, but cabinet, cabinet with that e t ending, we do pronounce that t. Okay, okay? cabinet, cabinet, cabinet. Yeah, so that i, the i in that word is silent, so we would not say cabinet. Mm -hmm. We would say cab. Net cabinet. cabinet. Okay, cabinet. Cabinet. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank let's, you. Yep. No problem. Let's go to uh, Keba. Let me have you read number nineteen, please. Mm -hmm. We listen to the announcements on the speakers. There you go on the speakers. Okay, and uh, it was probably best to say through the speakers, but on the on the speakers as well would be fine. So good job. Yeah, those are called speakers. Now this is how we spell that: speakers. S T E A K E R S. Good. So S P E A K E R S. Speakers. Okay. Speakers, now. Yeah. Now, um, uh, we have speakers in different places. These are going to be my headphone speakers. Okay, this is my headphone microphone. All right, we also have speakers on our radios in our houses, as well as in the radios in our cars. Those would be speakers as well. So those things that, uh, that uh, 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 sound music or make sound, those are called speakers. Okay. Good job, Heba. Let's go to Ugo, and yours is number 20, please. Uh, 
I got a new mm, um, Sorry, I don't know. Okay. Now, um, what? Uh, let's see. Let's see if anybody uh, in class uh, can help you out. Class, what would we call number twenty? Notebook. Notebook. Okay. Good. Curse good. Curse book. Uh, a notebook. Notebook. So, Ugo, let me have you uh, uh, repeat that word. The word is notebook. Hey, I got a new. Notebook. Good. That is a notebook. Nice job. Okay. All right. Let's go to Jesus, number 21, please. Okay. My, my glue is for art class. There you go. My glue. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the class. Is I, Say that the one more time. Pronounce. It's glue. Okay, yeah, it is glue, glue, like you're saying gol, gol, but we say glue, 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 glue. good, glue. glue is for art class. Nice, good job, Jesus. All right, let's go to uh, Mikael, number 22, please. Uh, I always borrow Pim's ruler. Nice. Yes, that is a ruler. A ruler. Excellent. Okay. okay. And let's see. Tarcisio, number 23, please. These scissors are sharp. Good. And uh, Tarcisio, how do we spell the word scissors? Scissors. How is the, how is the word scissors spelled? S C I S O R S. Okay, very close. There's two S's there. So S C I S S O R S. Good job. Good job. Yes, those are scissors, class. And uh, a funny story uh, because English is so hard to pronounce, even when I was younger. And I was learning how to spell words and read in English. I spent all of third grade, so I was probably about eight years old, pronouncing that word as skizzers. And I didn't know what skizzers were. And so one day I went to my teacher and I said, teacher, what are skizzers? We've been reading a story about skizzers, and I don't know what they are. And she laughed at me, and she said, no, they're called scissors. <laughs> so, yes, that was, that was when I learned how to pronounce the word scissors and how to spell it right. All right, you guys, good. Let's go to Dewey. Uh, Dewey, okay. let me have you read uh, or do this last one, please. Number 24. Okay. Number 24, I lost my math book. Good. Let's practice that. That TH sound, math, math. Math, math book. Good. Math Much better. Book. Much better with your, your TH sound. Okay, good. All right, class, uh, give me one second. I need to find my, my next activity. And let's see. Ah, okay, here it is. Okay. All right, so I knew I had one more at least, and we only have probably about five minutes left. So, class, uh, from where we left off here, we're going to scroll down. Okay, one page, and we're going to go to page number nine. Okay, we have some more pictures here, okay? All right, so um, let's uh, let's go through some of these. Let's go to uh, Amar. Uh, yes. Now, forgive me. Am I pronouncing it incorrectly? Is it Am Amar or Amar? Amar. Amar with the accent at the end, right? Yeah, Amar. Amar. Okay, good. All right, let's go to number two. All right, now we're talking about nouns now. So 
uh, places, objects, and people. So number two, where do you think she is reading? What would that be called, Amar? She is reading in, in the library. Okay, good. Yes, so this is library. 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 Okay, so let's try that one more time. Library. 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 <laughs> Can I say she is reading at library? Um, okay. So, right now, because she is, um, um, she is inside the library reading right now, you would have to say she is in the library. Mm -hmm. Okay? But, if, uh, uh, if me and you were walking and we're at college, okay, so Tarcicio, you and I were walking and, and Tarcicio, you say, hey, Chad, do you know where Stephanie's at? I would say, yeah, she's at the library. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then you may say, do you know what she's doing? And then I would say, yeah, she's in the library studying. I got it. Okay, so if we're describing what she's doing there at, inside the library, that's when we would say in the library mm -hmm. and then the verb studying yeah. or in the library uh, reading or in the library working on a computer. Okay, but if you okay. ask me where she is at or where someone is, I would say, yeah, she's at the library. Okay, does that, does that make sense? Totally. Cool. All right. Let's uh, let's go to Oksana. Oh, number three. Number three. Go for it. Um. Uh. uh what what she's doing? Well, let's see. Now, do those people in the, in this picture do uh, they look like students or do they look like teachers? Uh, uh, no, she looks like teachers. Okay. She looks like teachers. Maybe she has rest. Some rest in the Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is a this is a, a a room. This is a room where where teachers can go uh, to rest and relax. And what this is called is a teachers lounge. Lounge. Teachers lounge. Ah, teachers. This room named teachers lounge. Lounge. Good. Teachers lounge. Try that. Teachers lounge. Teachers lounge. Good, good, nice job. All right, and let's go to Diego. Uh, we've got a, about one or two minutes left. Let's do number four, Diego. All right. He is in the. Wait a second, I forgot a word. He is. Oh, huh. Ah, you almost got it. I know you almost yeah. got it. Yeah, I forgot it. I'm sorry. Okay, what would it what would it be in Spanish? It is time. Oh man. In like uh, speechless. Okay, so let's uh, let's say um, maybe maybe he's at uh, this may be the principal's office or. Okay, or what can you what there can you say? You here? What can you say? This may be the principal's office because he has that microphone there. Or where is he I'll sitting? What what is this right here? What would you call this right here, Diego? Oh, I already said it. Okay, what what is he sitting at? Office. Okay, yeah, so the principal's the office. I was looking for. All right. Okay, but we can also say he is uh, sitting at a desk. So he's sitting at a desk. You can also say that as well. Okay, so either one would work. All right, okay. you guys. Uh, excellent Thanks job. Sure, no problem. Excellent job this hour. Um, it was a, a lot of uh, um, a lot of new words. Um, a lot of uh, uh, new uh, um, verbs that we used here, okay? So I hope you were taking notes. You can keep that link, okay? If you want to save that link and go through 
all of the answers are at the very bottom of the page so you can go through and, and check your work as well um, uh, board of director Tarsicio would be more uh, more of someone that is running a company so the board of director or the board of directors would be a group of people that help run a company mm -hmm. okay thank um, anyway thank you thank you thank you guys for coming to class uh, my name is teacher Chad if uh, if you uh, want to you can uh, follow me uh, at my uh, verbling teacher page uh, I'll go ahead and put that in the uh, verbling chat there we go um, and also you can follow me on verbling uh, please leave me comments if you enjoyed the class let me know if you didn't enjoy the class let me know as well um, I'd like to uh, see how I can improve and also if there are classes that you would like to uh, uh, like to learn about let me know as well and I can add them into the curriculum okay all right you guys have a great night I am going to bed and I will see you oh, tomorrow yeah. yeah good dream for <laughs> you Chad. all right thanks you guys take care